Hello everyone, this is Saurabh and welcome to the my new video. Today I am showing you how to protect sensitive input variables in Terraform. So basically there are some variables like uh, some sensitive data which are which we cannot store in variable the TF file. So how to protect this? I am showing you this in my this video. But before that, please subscribe my channel and keep updated by with my latest videos. Okay. So just I am showing, I am taking the example of uh, where I will create a VPC subnet and a RDS in AWS. So basically my video is focus on how to protect sensitive data in from uh, uh, input variables. I'm, but this video is also handy for you how to create a RDS in AWS. So this is the main file. Here you can see that provider is AWS. Then availability zone VPC. I am defining VPC. Uh, in this video, I am creating a one web server and one DB server. So, so I have defined a security group for web server, security group for load balancer. Then uh, Ingress and egress rules. This is actually easy to stand, but I am not focusing on this. So just go to the bottom. See, set up with DB stand. This will create a stand database in RDS. So I am just taking a look at it. Stores by Indian MySQL stand type, and I am giving you just focus on these two lines. That is username and password. So I have written the username admin and password in no secure password. So basically this password is visible. So uh, we should not keep this type of uh, sensitive data in uh, Terraform files. Now see the variables dot Here I have defined all the variables like in which region it will create AWS region, US East one, C CIDR for VPC and the private subnet and public subnet CIDR. How many instance per subnet will be created, instance type, everything. So uh, for this, we, what we will do, we will create a, we will basically input variables of the database administrator username and password in variables dot tf. Open variables dot tf. Go to the bottom. Here type. Variable just give a description Type string now there is one thing you have to attribute 
that that is sensitive equal to true now close this similar tv password Just copy and Just edit it. I did copy and paste, that's why I am editing it. Now that you have declared the variables db username and db password. Save and exit. Now open main.tf. Go to the bottom. And here you have defined username, admin, and password. So you have to give here variables. Now save and exit. Now you have seen that you have declared the variables db username and db password in variable.tf but you have not mentioned anywhere what is what should be the username and what will be the password. So basically we, what we will do we will provide it runtime. When we apply when we do Terraform apply then at that time we will provide the username and password there are two ways either you have defined in separate tf was dot file and you can also uh, provide at runtime it will prompt for username and password and you can enter but that will be uh, basically every time you have to provide this so that is not feasible so what we will do we will create a file secret dot tf parse but Now, now see that Terraform apply hyphen var hyphen file equal to secret dot TF wars. So in that way you can provide the TF war file at runtime. So what when you when you run this command, Terraform will pick those variables from TF war file which are sensitive and defined there. So I am just I am not running the Terraform apply here. I am because I am just showing you how to protect your input variable now now when you run the terraform apply command all the sensitive variable and everything basically what you have done what you have configured in your remote cloud everything is stored in tf state file 
terraform tf state file so basically uh, you are providing this at run time to uh, keep separate out uh, your uh, sensitive data from the variable uh, tf but it will still be tf state file and when you create this tf state file will be created locally so what you have to do you have to provide a remote backend either in uh, s3 or whatever your cloud you are using you have to provide a uh, remote backend where you can uh, basically where you can uh, encrypt the uh, tf.state file also now when you apply it everything will be created and when you destroy terraform destroy at that time it will also you have to provide uh, this variable hyphen var hyphen file equal to secret.tf or file this data you this sensitive data at that time you have also need to provide now i am showing you how to remove remove uh, passwords from the from checking in version control so just uh, select the password and create another file just keep the name info.txt whatever name you want to give you can provide and copy and paste here save and exit now you have to run this command terra help so basically for this you need to install terra help using terra help you can encrypt the so after installation of terra help you have to create a simple key using uh, any method yeah even you can create it online just provide simple key and the file name so terraform terra help encrypt hyphen simple hyphen key then provide the key then hyphen file and file name where you have defined the password just run this command now you have seen that it is a one backup file is created now you can see that encrypted password so you need to just copy and paste here here you can paste so in that way you can you have encrypted the password and after that you can check into the version control but make sure when you are when you run the terraform apply at that time you have to decrypt the password with using the same key so that's all for the this video which shows how to protect input variables in terraform now please subscribe my channel and keep updated with my latest videos thank you